Welcome to 502 Sessions. I'm Brian Kirby. My guest today is the Dread Sox. Founding members Ben Arnold and Jeff Alexander started the band's The Trio, but the fun music and family atmosphere was infectious, and the band grew organically one member at a time into the septet you see today. They have recorded two original CDs. They are a regular presence on the south shore of Boston, and they have a steady monthly gig at the Canton Junction Sports Pub, the Dread Sox. No more heartache, no heartbreak, stand and hear the call. Ha ha! Hoorah! The home team wins it all.
They play from band to band. You hear the pros and the locals. They're playing hand in hand. Now look, some cats can learn the ropes by playing with the pros. And the pros pick up some homemade licks. need yes or no I, I want to know I, I want to be your man I, I done what I can girl I don't know 
if I can win. I don't know if you're ever gonna let me in. But I, I want to know. Come on, Danny boy. Darling, when I call you on the phone, I want to know. I get a feeling, honey, maybe you're not alone. I want to know. I don't get answers, I just get alibis. I want to know. I think it's time for me to say goodbye. I want to know. Well, if I'm gonna go, I go inside. The words coming out your mouth and I, I, I want to know I want to know I got love to show But I got no time to take it slow I need a yes or no and I, I want to know Did I I want to know Did I I want to know Five O Two Sessions. I'm here with the Dread Sox and specifically spokesperson Ben Arnold of the Dread Sox. So before we get too far, please introduce me to the band. It would be a pleasure. Uh, I want to start over here with the bullpen horn section. They've been with us for several years now, all starting with the trumpet, Mr. David Hazel, Bob Kirby on the saxophone, tenor sax and soprano sax, Danny Murphy on trombone, swinging around to the lovely and talented Heather Kirby on keyboards, vocals, Percussion, good vibrations, big smiles, and the like. Good. We'll swing around to this side and pick up the rhythm section, the heart and soul of the Dread Sox band. From the North Shore, Cody Morse, David Cody Morse on the drums and vocals, and Jeff Alexander uh, on, also on vocals and bass guitar. The longest standing member of the Dread Sox band, uh, not even longer than myself. We started the band together. Uh, I don't know, more than 10 years ago. Let's just go with more than 10 years. And you started as a trio. That's correct. We had we started uh, Jeff, myself, and uh, I think we went. We had three other drummers, all great guys. We had a, we had a good, solid band through the years. Every uh, always a singing drummer, always a lot of harmonies, mostly covers. We used to do uh, reggae versions of classic rock songs. That's how the Dread Sox name came. It okay, was, because yeah, yeah, it was yeah, the easiest right. way to learn the guitar parts. Just make them all simple <laughs> reggae things. <laughs> uh, but that that was kind of our shtick, and uh, we went through a few drummers, and then as we uh, met Cody. And he came into the band. We really sort of blossomed more into a, an original. Okay. Focusing much more on originals. Cody with his the songs that I he had written. Homemade. homemade music. Yeah. So I have a question. It started as a trio. What, what did you did you add specifically? Keyboards next or? 
So you said it grew. The so trom you, <laughs> trombone? Over the years and gigs, uh, Bob played with us off and on, but he was never actually a member of the band. The first actual next member of the band was, was trombone. There was a okay. one-man horn section. Uh, Danny came to see us at a gig uh, one night. It was about two and a half years. I had a blast because I was all alone, so I could play anything I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> right, for two and a half years, he was the, he was the horn section, and then, uh, and, then, and then more came on. But he saw us at a gig, and he called me uh, a few days later and said, you need me in your band. <laughs> oh, as a member? I heard the trombone and all your original stuff, that Dixieland thing. Yeah. And yeah. then, then it just kept going from there. Yeah, and then Bob uh, was, th those guys were a two-man, uh, uh, Bob joined, and then, uh, then we had a gig one time where Bob also plays keyboard, okay. and Bob wasn't available, so he said we should use Heather. And I said, yeah, but Heather doesn't play keyboards. And Bob said, she can learn. That's what he said. He said, she'll, she'll learn. And uh, she did. here she is. <laughs> she, learned, she learned how to play keyboards for the gig, and she's been in the band ever since. And then Dave Hazel uh, also asked, he said, I'm ready. He, I've been asking him for years. He, I knew he played trumpet and played it well, but he was very busy. And, and then uh, he called me and said, "Ben, I'm ready." Oh. And uh, and then and that was his introduction to the so band. So I'd say this, were, this lineup for about two years now. You were waiting for his call. Oddly, that's an interesting we, way to put it. We weren't like advertising for a trumpet player, uh, but you know, it's kind of like it's it's a lot of fun. The group's fun. It's great great group of people. Let's talk down some tunes. So uh, you didn't write everything then? All these songs. Oh, no, I didn't write everything. Nope. Uh, Cody and I wrote the, every, all the songs that we're playing here today and on the records are all either uh, Cody or myself. So what was the last one? I want to know. I want to know. All right. Is that I want to know tune a personal tune or no, is it's it's just a, a, a it's a universal. Oh, it's universal. It's a universal thing. It could be guys. It could be girls. It's like, you know, I want to know. I just want to know. People want to know what's going on. Okay. But it's very hard sometimes to figure out what people are thinking. So yeah, it's not a specific thing. I'm very fortunate. And, and actually, the funny thing about that song, because the, the, the thing about the Dread Sox is that we, we do play a lot of cover songs, but we play them, very rarely do we play them in the way that the world knows them. We kind of change them a little Wait, bit. Wait, what? You play a what? We play cover songs, okay. songs people know. Oh, you rearrange them, like we a reggae version. Them. Correct, right, right. we do a reggae version or, or, or a country version of a hard oh, okay. rock song or something like that. Yep. So I Want to Know is actually the only song, is actually on both of the CDs. Uh, we actually covered our own song and changed the style from sort of like a rock and roll thing to a uh, Zydeco oh, okay. kind of a thing. Well, that's good. It keeps it fresh, too. <laughs> right? So. Yes. We, we ripped off the Dread Sox. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to know, when you're writing the songs like this, so was that a Cody and Ben tune? Or is that, uh, who brought that, that where? What? I wrote that song. And I think these songs... Uh, evolved right the song kind of evolved and then we made the record and like all the horn parts and the, the, the vocal harmonies and all that kind of stuff kind of came together I would say the whole band so you work it out as a group you're not oh, yeah. bringing them a complete song and saying no sing this. <laughs> you don't bring the horn you don't bring the bullpen horns lines you say to the bullpen, hey, I got this song what do we do here and and they they do their they do their job oh okay <laughs> right? we cover quite a, a pretty broad range of music when people ask what kind of music we play you listeners out there, you can write in and tell us what kind of music we play because we, we don't really know. We, just, well, play, we right. just call it music. So that's one thing I left out of the intro was you play many genres, blues, reggae, rock, soul, R&B, country and blues, which are two separate things, right? It's not country and western like country and blues. It's country and blues. Country, comma, and blues. <laughs> I didn't know. Maybe you're inventing a new genre there, country and yeah. blues. <laughs> We don't really pay that much attention to genres. I mean, we just kind of play the songs. Well, I think that's yeah. much more interesting, actually. Well, not necessarily, but it keeps everything fresh. And I like the, that you rearrange the tunes, even your own songs. So <laughs> we do it every night. We do it every night. Yeah, every night. Every night. <laughs> we, yeah, the, song, the, song, the songs, they're shorter, they're longer, they're faster, they're slower. So this is your main project, this one. Musically? Yeah. That's what I mean. Does everybody freelance too, or is this the the band? Oh, I I think we all do other things yeah, some, to to some degree. I mean, we all play music. Uh, there's a couple of people who are professional music professionals, uh, both performing and stuff like that. Bob and Heather both. Uh, mu Heather is a music teacher right here. Dedham's own Heather Kirby. Dedham's own Heather Kirby. Dedham's own Heather Kirby. And then Bob is. I'm a. Uh, Step up to the mic, Bob. I'm a music director at Holy Family Church in Rockland, Mass, by day. And by night, I'm playing sax in all kinds of musical settings. Oh, okay. Including Saturday Night Live. 
<laughs> All right, so let's hear some more music, and then I'll come back, and I'll probably ask some specific questions about writing. Terrific. So get the wheels turning, I guess, if you don't mind. All right, Ben Arnold of the Dread Sox. The Dread Sox are here on 502 Sessions. Thank you very much, gentlemen and Heather. All right, more music.
like the things you see, no. I'll make no apology. I don't want your judging. Judging. You're not budging, no. no. Uh -oh. Judging. Hey, judging. yeah. Running from a running. Five oh two sessions back with Ben Arnold and the Dread Sox. All right, Ben. So let me uh, let me know about the first CD you made. Was it with this band? Uh, this entire group? No, no. Um, the, the first CD them? was songs I wrote for you, for you, Brian. That's the name of it. That's the name of the album, and and it works very well. Uh, but uh, it was Bob uh, produced it. That's where I first met Bob. Actually, was in uh, we were looking for a, a studio okay. and producer for that uh, or, or engineer for that record, and uh, we met Bob and. Uh, he 
turned out to be a terrific at all of it and played all over the, as well, uh, keyboards and saxophone. Uh, Jeff was, in, you know, we were playing together at the time. So it wasn't, that was not a band project, um, but a lot of the people here. Dave actually played on it as well. Um, that was in 2009. And so those songs you now do currently, right? So you've yeah, so, yep. had to teach it to the full band. And so you're, it wasn't a full band project, but now the tunes are a full band. Correct. Yeah, we, yep. Yep, those, those songs are part of the repertoire. I think and that was playing. back in 09? I want to know it was on that record. <laughs> so, uh, 2009, and then the second CD was the with the full CD band? The second CD was the full, full, full band project. Yep, that was a few years after Cody joined the band. We, we kind of knew the songs. Honestly, the, the horn lines and all that kind of came together in the studio. Was, the songs were really gelled in wow, the studio. Wow, you used studio time to make the arrangements? Yikes. Not the, not the most uh, cost-efficient way to do it, but you get well, people together. We had, a basic, we had basic horn pots. We just yeah, it was, yeah. It, them. It's the old-fashioned way, though. I mean, studio time's expensive, yeah, but you can yeah, we had, use you know, it for rehearsal was, time. Good. Wow. It wasn't rehearsal. Yeah, whatever, yes. We're making it, it came together. The sauce, the sauce came together, and then every now and then we go back and listen to it, right? And we're like, oh, that's how the songs go. Unless by arranging you mean you just simply said, hey, don't do that. And then somebody stopped doing something. That's efficient. Less is, less is more. Uh, less is more sometimes. All right, so let's go through one of the tunes then, top to bottom. So you just did a reggae tune, right? Uh -huh. Is that what we just, what yeah. you just did? Judging. Judging. Yeah. Okay. Judging, yeah. And did it start as a reggae tune? Yes. Okay, so who's, who wrote that? I did. Okay, so you wrote that tune. Most of it. So where, where does it come from? So uh, you get inspired or do you say, well, do you write with purpose? And the reason I asked this, I haven't asked it in a while, but I know some people, to keep their writing chops up, will specifically... Um, set some parameters that they have to write within to uh, focus their attention. Do you do that, or does it just come to you? Like, do you write five tunes a week? No. And throw four out? No. No, I've, I think I've written five tunes. Okay. So, they, so, you're, in, so you're inspired. <laughs> they, 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 they just come to me when they, they do. Uh, they, these kind of came a bunch at a time. Uh, that song, boy, I really... How I long ago I don't was remember. it? Probably five or six years. Kind of, kind of from uh, Bob Marley, you know, remember Judge Knight? Yeah, yeah. So, right, right. So... So the, the actual bridge that we are, where we all sing together, those words actually are, are the words from Bob Marley's Judge Not. Okay. Um, so we change them a little bit, but it's like, that's like a tribute to Bob Marley. We're like trying to figure out what the bridge was missing for that song for a long time. And then it was like, boom, it just came to us one night that that, that song kind of worked. So when so you get a... But that's a message in that song, right? It's about, you know, just accepting things the way they are. Don't judge. Okay. I disagree with that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Are you judging me? Are you judging us? Are you judging I know, Bob? I know. Hacky, hacky, hacky. I'm sorry. <laughs> so the song comes to you and you have to sit down and write it out or pull over and get a paper towel or a napkin or... No. Grabs that thing and works it out. Yeah, and then you the kind of record too. it on your phone and then you, you, and do, then you yeah. email it to, to the other guy. What do you think? Have we got something here? Can you work with this? And, can you, and then... Uh, then everybody kind of learns their parts. Like I, when I write a song, I don't go and, and, and say, oh, the bass parts, you go like this, and the right, horns, right. you go like that. It, it's like, oh, there's got to be a bass part, Jeff. Do you write anything down, or you just teach it to Jeff? I just or write like the chords. And, you do write the chords down, at least. Yeah. And um, so is there anything that you've brought to the band that people say, whoa, right, that, let's rethink this one? Nobody's ever taught people. It's a, it's a no. group project, right? Yeah. So although you are Ben Arnold, <laughs> It's the Dread Sox, it's right? A, yeah, absolutely. It's not Ben Arnold and the Dread Sox. We're, no, I'm just, right. You know, somebody's got to... So anybody is free to bring in a tune. Yeah. Yeah, we have... So the cover songs that we do are different things that uh, people have different suggestions of the songs we should play. If, and and uh, if Dave wants to write a song, he'll write a song and bring it to us. He is anybody writing it. actively? Anybody else write a song here? No? Not today, anyway? No. Cody, Cody. Well, yeah, yeah Cody's, Cody's written some. Yeah. Cody's yeah. got one in the oven. He's got a bunch yeah. of them. Yeah. Yeah. There's, <laughs> there's, there's, yeah. There's more songs to, to, to learn. It's just, it's to, to, as far as getting together and uh, finding the time. It's a lot of people to get together. So, we, we, when we do get together, we try and learn like one new song each time, and, and we try and make it an original. Wow. How, how often do you get together? I was gonna say you try. <laughs> well, here we are. <laughs> you, you try and learn Twi twice in oh. 24 hours. We played last night and we're playing today, but it's it's, it's usually we see each other about once a month. Oh, okay. If we don't say, play say, once a month, we get together. So you try say, and learn one new tune a month, be it original did or that? new. You did. You said did every time that. we get together, we learn. I was thinking, holy cow, you guys must have a book. Ten years <laughs> times twelve. Well, that's a well, huge this whole, repertoire. Yeah, again, this whole band, this lineup is about two and a half, three years. Okay. So yeah. We, oh, that's yeah. still relatively yeah. recent then. But we have about 30 tunes that we can pull out any night. Yeah, originals. Yeah. 30 originals? Yeah. And then a mess of cover tunes. 30 originals, but we can give you three hours of music. 
With 32. 10 soon. Oh, ten, yeah, yeah, ten yeah. 10 or 12, maybe 14 originals. We sprinkle them in. And then if you knew about different tempos, you've got 60. There you go. Yeah, we have a, we have a deep, we can't get through our, our song list in, in the night for sure. We got we to gotta pick what to leave out as opposed to what leave in, to leave in. So that's kind of a, that's kind of nice and keeps things interesting for us. And we also just, if anybody's listening, we love having well, guests. Well, let's hope we, that someone's listening? listening. If you're listening, and I know you are because you're listening because you, you're hearing me. Um, we, we have guests. We love having guest singers that come and like oh. bring a whole new dimension to what we do as the band. And, but uh, not unannounced, I'm assuming. No, they know they're coming, but they, they, we practice just a little bit. It's, it's really, you know, you got to have some courage to get up with, with an eight-piece band in front of a room full of people and, and sing. But there's a lot of people out there that they don't have time to commit to be in a band. Um, and, so you know, you'll let them have their yeah, night their big night their out, they come out, their friends come out. We all have a great time. And, you know, we actually all like, I think, doing the part of playing a backing band and trying to make someone sound as good as they can and feel as comfortable as they can. Let's hear the next tune then. You got it. The Dread Sox on 502 Sessions. Brandon. Thank you very much, gentlemen. And Heather. <laughs> Lovely and talented. That's what we're going we're to rename the band Gentlemen and Heather. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. I've been good to you, baby. And done everything I can. to you, baby, and done everything I can. So why'd you have to go out last night, huh? just to be with your other man? I gave up living the kind of life I had. kind of life I had for us to be happy but now I feel so sad look out I don't play Keno cause uh, you know what I mean I stay home after eating it. I really don't think I'd sing I gave up many friendships I don't gamble playing pool after all that you've done and broke the golden rule Do unto others as you would have them do unto you So don't bother coming home, baby Cause that old saying so true in the bar and I don't go out and party <laughs> for me that's very hard I gave up many friendships I don't do the pool and after all the back of me from the golden rule do one other baby as you would have them do unto you yeah I feel so all alone Well, I got no woman And I feel so all alone Oh, yeah Now I know some rules are made to be broken <laughs> But that one broke up my happy home Let's 
take it home. Okay, look out. Been on my mind. I'm going down to Fish House. I'm going to have a good time. We do the Fish House book and let everybody know that the people of New England like to rock and roll. The men had a good catch today. Been up to selling some to give away. Yeah, yeah. So we're going down the cove. Where the kids all go. We're gonna light one up. We're gonna soak and flow at the beach. Bomb by way you feel all right.
go through the winter when it's so damn cold. You know it is. And then the summer sun loosens up your funky bones, don't you know? You get the barbecue stove and it's a red hot coal. Now my heart in New England dug it down. feel all right Music keeps you happy under the starry skies at night With congas and percussion and acoustic guitars We're gonna party all night underneath the stars at the beach bonfire where you feel all right The beach bonfire gonna go all night The beach bonfire time. 502 Sessions, my guest today has been the Dread Sox, Ben Arnold on guitar. We went around the band earlier, I'm not going to do it again now. <laughs> it takes too long. It takes too long and I don't, I, well let's see, Dave, Ben, no Dave, Ben, Bob, Danny, Danny Heather, Cody, Jeff. I'll give you an A. Fairly close, fairly close. Um, <laughs> So, the Dread Sox have been my guest today. If you are a musician with a lot of original music and you're in a band or a solo act, you don't have to have a septet. I do solo acts as well. Don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm at 502sessions at gmail.com. We do all styles. I don't discriminate against styles as actually we've several styles or genres today have been performed. Thank you very much, gentlemen and Heather, the Dread Sox. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for having us, Brian. You're welcome. You're welcome. Play us out? You can play you out, absolutely. All right, the Dread Sox. We're going to go out with a little love song called I Fell in Love. You can sing along at home with this if you'd like. Maestro. The crowded bar room, she moved gracefully. Just one look, I knew I'd enjoy your company. When I fell in love, fell in love, fell in love, fell in love. Under her spell, I fell in love. Trousers. 
wandered across the room When I got close, man, I got a dose of the fine, fine perfume And I fell in love Fell in love Fell in love Fell in love I just love that smell I've seen other girls before, but Lord, she stole my heart. I dream all night about her whenever we're apart. Lord. Everybody turned to see And it ruby lips and shapely hips All pressing up on me And I fell in love Fell in love Fell in love Fell in love Well, man, I felt a swell I fell in love She kissed me like no other Held my hand in her She wrote down my number Slipped it in her purse I fell in love Fell in love Fell in love Fell in love Man, under her spell Proud and chin high and green and high. 